Welcome to the CPU Galaxy channel and the second part of our mini Windows 98 PC build. Yeah, in the previous video you could already see how we were setting up the single board computer, measuring a little bit, supplying it, installing Windows 98 on the micro drive and make it fully working. In this video now I would like to connect the world's smallest color CRT to our single board computer to complete our mini Windows 98 PC build. Actually, this mini TV set was uh, built by Panasonic back in the 80s and is using a 1.5 inch real 3 gun color CRT. Uh, actually, this is the only model which I know so far where this small uh, 1.5 inch uh, CRT was built in. So I'm very curious about the image quality and I will also open the case for you that you will get a closer look inside of this awesome uh, TV set. Yeah, and here we have it, the Panasonic CT101 color TV set. This set was assembled in August 1984 and has a 1.5 inch real 3 gun shadow mask color CRT tube. So uh, actually this model is the only one I know so far where a, a 1.5 inch uh, CRT was built in. So actually it's the world's smallest color CRT. And today we are going to connect this CRT with the uh, single board computer from my previous video. Yeah, so then let's take a closer look at the device. Here on the side we have, as usual for a TV set, some regulators for color, tab, bright, contrast and vertical hold, tuning, volume, and here we have the connector for 12 volt DC supply. On the back side we have an external antenna connector and the best thing we have a separate video input so it will be not very hard uh, to convert the VGA signal from the computer to a video composite signal and to feed this into this monitor. Yeah, And before we connect this baby to our computer here I will open this case for you to get a closer look in the electronics inside. Yeah, and here we have it uh, nicely opened that we can uh, have a closer look on the components inside. On the beginning I just would like to mention if you are dissembling a monitor or a television with a CRT inside, please take always care. It is creating very high voltages to the tube, uh, which can be very dangerous for you. Even on a small set like that, which has just a 12 volt uh, power supply, it is creating about 12 kilovolts of flyback voltage uh, to the tube. So always take care by handling uh, a device in open condition. So what can we see here? We have here, of course, the nice uh, CRT tube um, with a diameter of 1.5 inch. I said already, it's a real three gun uh, CRT with a shadow mask. Here we have the flyback voltage connector which leads directly to the flyback transformer and it's creating the high anode voltage for the tube. So here we have the internal power supply. So here we connect 12 volts DC and this power supply is creating all needed different voltages for this TV set. Here we have the tuner part and on the PCB a lot of regulators for adjusting and calibrating the colors and so on. Yeah, actually this is a very nice historical piece of technology from the early 80s. If you check out uh, the density of the parts inside uh, this small case just to engineer a 1.5 inch CRT color TV set. Yeah. Just amazing and a great product from the early 80s. I'm really curious how good the image quality will be uh, connected to our single board computer playing some games. 
and how are we going to connect the single board computer to this TV set um, to convert the VGA signal to a video composite signal I will use this uh, VGA to video composite converter uh, which I already showed in one of my previous videos where I was testing a one inch black and white CRT so uh, let's go directly straight forward and make the setup and connect everything proper so everything is set up nicely already here we have our single board computer the Pentium 266 MHz MMX uh, on the VGA output I connected this converter to convert the signal to video composite and here it goes to our sweet little 1.5 inch color TV set so everything is connected proper and I'm ready to power up the system so first of all I will supply uh, the TV let's see if we can get something yeah so we have already some uh, flickering uh, image here then yeah let's switch it on so the computer is supplied and yes we have a post screen here very nice so we have a very bright picture oh look at that look at this nice colorful oh it looks so nice and the colors are really uh, amazing uh, crisp so yeah it's I'm, I'm i'm really amazed now so system is booting yeah very nice i'm curious um, how good we can see the image uh, in the windows desktop so now the desktop is loading yeah, very nice Everything booted up nicely now. Yeah, so uh, actually the, the, the colors are very cr crisp on this screen, but the image quality is not that sharp um, as we had it uh, in one of my previous videos on the black and white uh, screen. Yeah, this is because we have, of course, here a shadow mask and sub pixels for the colors, uh, and this is uh, the reason why it's not that sharp but nevertheless uh, the image quality looks already very good uh, although it's it's not possible to read any content here on the screen because of the it's too small actually it's too small but I know uh, where to click at the end so yeah let me show you with a, with a lens also here you can see the, the pixels nicely yeah so it's not that bad I'm happy already and yeah let me fix the camera uh, to have a, a nice angle to start playing some games yeah the camera is nicely fixed now and I was also playing a little bit around with the settings to get a nice record uh, of this CRT and you all know how hard it is to make some nice uh, videos of a, of a monitor or a CRT especially when you are so close like I am here right now so uh, it looks in real a bit better than here on the video but I think I can give you now already a feeling how cool and nice this small CRT looks like so then let's go straight forward to check out playing some games for this i'm going to start the ms dos mode so i know it's actually here to click so yeah now nah, this windows logo looks so nice now the computer is booting into dos mode and i'm very very curious if it's playable and how good the image quality will be yeah here we are so then let's start yeah and of course we will start with doom one of the historical most important games of the 90s and this is definitely a must for me 
to play it here on this small screen. Actually it looks very good, the colors are crisp and the image quality is very clear. And yes, I'm cheating here at Doom, adding weapons and health, but I want to put the focus here on the screen quality instead of gaming and dying immediately. I'm really surprised how good the quality of such a small CRT is. And this thing is 35 years old. <laughs> really cool. So the next game I want to try is Duke Nukem 3D. Also a nice retro shooter, which provides already better resolution. Looks also very nice on the CRT and it's very playable. You may ask yourself why playing games on such a small screen. Well, for technology nerds and retro lovers, it's just fascinating to put the same technology you need for a big device into so something small. Same with Quake, also nice to play and due to the size of our screen here, I can use a smaller resolution to get the proper frame rate. Yeah, Pinball Dreams was also one of my favorites back in the days and also this looks great here. The screen is big enough to enjoy this game and different tables a little bit. So the last game I want to try is Prince of Persia. I showed this also already in one of my previous videos of the 1 inch black and white CRT. This game kept me also busy back in the days and I still enjoy to play it from time to time, especially on the retro hardware. Yeah, at the end we have here a nice mini Windows 98 build with a mini hard disk drive and a proper Pentium CPU for retro gaming. I had a lot of fun playing around with this stuff and building up a tiny computer setup and testing this beautiful mini CRT monitor. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed also these very nice pieces of engineering from the past I showed you in these previous two videos. If you want to see more of my stuff, you can see I have many things here around. The room is full with old equipment and stuff. Then subscribe my channel and you won't miss any further content. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Music